What's up, everybody? Unrest it with the questions you requested. This is JFAC Japan's Frequently Asked Questions. Today, we are doing a bit of a response video to a recent posting by another J vlogger known as Lisa Sometimes. Recently posted a video called something like Attacked in a Park by a Racist Japanese. And she is definitely quoting exactly what happened. She was attacked in a park by a racist Japanese man. And let me just start with a disclaimer before I get into this, because I know I've got those people out there who believe Japan is perfect, wonderful. For the most part, Japan is a super peaceful, crime-free, very, very safe country. This is a rare thing to happen, but it does happen. Unfortunately, there is a very xenophobic streak that runs through Japan, and a lot of Japan socially is still kind of where America was back in the 1950s, which means there is still a lot of racism. Um, but today what I want to cover is confrontations in Japan. What should you do if you yourself are confronted in some way in Japan? Well, first of all, let me start by saying you should never start a confrontation in Japan. I do not condone people starting fights, uh, acting out to begin a fight, or getting some kind of upheaval started to begin a fight with someone. Of course, if you have some sort of customer service complaint or something like that, that's a little bit different, but I believe that falls under arguments and not really confrontations. If you yourself are confronted by someone who is overly aggressive, violent, like this guy was, well, it's kind of a difficult situation to deal with. First of all, it's different for how a guy would deal with it and how a woman would deal with it. Where this guy's coming from, and it's by no means right at all, I'm not justifying this guy or victim blaming by any means, is he's thinking he's back in Japan back when it was uh, post-World War II and women were little more than housewives and just did everything the man told them to do. Obviously, progressively, we've changed socially over time, and unfortunately, there's old people like this who can't seem to progress and expect every woman that they meet will bend to their will and are surprised when they won't. Now, if you're one of those tough girls out there and want to fight back, feel free. The ways that I would say fight back now, of course, if you're a man right away, you can do this too. Raise your volume of your voice, first of all. Don't be afraid to talk in English. First of all, if you try to I don't know, get more aggressive back in Japanese unless you are very fluent and very native and very well pronounced with your Japanese. I would highly suggest that you use your own language to sound more aggressive. This is mostly due to the fact that you're going to have the right inflections, the right intonations, and even if no one understands what you are saying, those type of things easily dictate how you feel. I assure you, you will scare someone a lot more with your aggressive curse words in your own language than trying to adapt to curse words in another language that you haven't fully learned yet. Second of all, try to end the conversation or the confrontation with language only. I highly suggest not getting into any kind of fisticuffs or confrontation that leads to anything physical. Please realize if at some point the police are called to the situation and you in any way have touched or physically laid a hand on that person, even if it was to defend yourself, because they were hitting you, the police would almost 100% of the time take the Japanese person's side. This is a fact of Japan. This is, I guess you could say, racism from the cops as well. This is stereotyping by the cops. I'm sorry, it's a true fact. You're most likely going to have the cops take the Japanese person's side, no matter what the situation is, even if they came swinging at you with an old man's cane. Now, let me also make you very aware of the fact that for the most part, you're not going to see this with the younger generation within Japan. They are far and above anything racist, for the most part, for the most part. Don't, not saying they don't exist whatsoever, but most younger Japanese people are progressive enough or have lived in a time where they're very accepting of gaijin, and most actually even want to meet gaijin and hang out with gaijin and discuss your country. This, what you're seeing here, of course, is an old guy because that's where you're going to find most of your racism, most of your aggressive people. The most aggressive people I have run into in Japan have been old men and old women. Um, I have yet I have yet to actually, in my nine years in Japan, I don't think I've ever really encountered a really aggressive young person. Um, no, almost 100% almost of the time they are either excited to meet me or just don't care, blase to the fact. Um, almost every single incident I've ever had has been with an old person. I've had one time where I was going up an escalator, um, and for some reason the guy was uh, on the non-passing side, decided he wanted to get on the passing side, 
um, and go faster than me and pushed me from behind to get around me suddenly. Um, so I turned around and I screamed in this guy's face, fuck off, and he just got super scared and stopped. Um, another time I had a, uh, an time where I was exiting a friend's apartment and there was two ways to walk out. There's a bike pathway, and this is often the times the way the road's laid out in Japan. There's a bike pathway and there's a pedestrian walkway. And I, of course, using the pedestrian walkway. And an old man on a bike decided he was going to come through on the pedestrian walkway and not enter through the bikeway. And got super pissed off and started yelling at me that I was blocking the way because pretty much the way it is, it's just made for a human body to fit through. It's not made for someone on a bike. Um, and you can't have two people passing through at the same time. So I stopped right there and I yelled right back at him and he just, you know, put his tail between his legs and decided to use the bike path, shut up real quick. So right away I've learned that if you meet their confrontation with your own sort of aggressive mode, which they're very, very used to this. They're very used to a hierarchy in Japan. And the hierarchy in Japan is you respect your elders. If you break that hierarchy, it just throws them out of place. They don't know how to handle it. They don't know what to do. They're very, very used to a younger generation bowing to their whim. Although that is slowly changing too as the younger generation starts to get sick of this fucking attitude. Um, but you're also looking at a country that's mostly ruled by the old. Our elderly population far outshines any of our younger or even middle-aged population. The more old people diapers, your Depends and stuff like that were sold last year, then baby diapers by a ton. And all your Congress, all your diet, all your everything government ruled is run by old people. All your policies, all your politicians you see come out and campaign, almost 100% of the time, very old people. So you need to knock them out of the hierarchy. You need to let them know that it's not always their place to yell at you, especially when they're in the wrong. Now, if you're being a fuckhead, and you do something that's really stupid, really rude, and they're yelling at you for that, you need to apologize. You don't need to get back in their face and yell right back at them. But again, I've had people, one time when I was going up an escalator, I had an old guy elbow me because I guess I tapped, I slightly hit his suitcase or something in the passing lane, and I waited till I got to the top of the stairs and made sure I had a confrontation with him and let him know. And he apologized after that and realized, okay, I've pissed off the wrong person. Don't be afraid to yell back is what I'm saying. For the most part, for the most part, a lot of these old people are not ready or not expecting a confrontation to come back at them. They're usually not going to get physical because once again that usually gets the police called and they don't want any lawyers or courts and stuff like that involved. If they do get physical, I suggest walking away from it because unfortunately if the cops do get involved, almost 100% of the time they're going to take the Japanese person's side no matter how much in the wrong they were. Again, it's a hierarchy. For the most part, old people are very used to being respected for anything and everything they do, even if it's totally 100% wrong. I've had people where I've seen them have senpais, and those senpais are teaching them a way to do their job which is very inefficient, old, and no longer used, or they're doing something on a computer that's very old, inefficient, or no longer used, telling them they can only do it this way. They'll just nod, obey, and do it. You don't have to follow this code. You're not Japanese. You can if you want to, and you can try and assimilate, and you can bow to that if you want to. But that's, like I've said before, I assimilate to a certain limit. And that's one of those limits that I will not assimilate to. I will not be disrespected by old people who think they're in the right when they are in the wrong. I will not be disrespected by racism or xenophobia. And you too shouldn't. Don't be afraid to step up for yourself and shout back. Until next time, that's dealing with confrontations. I'm unrested with the questions you requested. This is JFAC, Japan's Frequently Asked Questions. Have a good one. Stay safe.